This is LifePrint, a portable photo printer that can purportedly print videos. Let's find out what that means. Yes, that's right, the LifePrint can print videos. Kind of. The printer can print a thumbnail of a video, and using its companion smartphone app, it can recognize the video and play it back through your phone's viewfinder using augmented reality. It's an interesting idea, but ultimately not one I imagine will have much practical use beyond being a quick novelty. Playing back these videos requires the LifePrint app as well, so it's not like you can easily give a quote-unquote printed video to a friend without a little setup. To LifePrint's credit, the video thumbnails are easily recognized, and the video loads quickly. You can only view one photo at a time, but at least the augmented reality does work as intended. Gimmicks aside, at the end of the day, this is a photo printer that can print small 2x3 inch pictures on photo paper. LifePrint also sells a larger, higher quality 3x4.5 inch photo printer, however, this review will only cover the smaller 2x3 inch printer. Let's talk about how the printer works and its quality. Everything is handled in the companion app. You connect to the printer via Bluetooth and can then send pictures from your camera roll or other sources to the printer to be printed. Photos take about 15 to 20 seconds to print. The printer is ink free, meaning you don't have to worry about refilling cartridges or anything. You can select videos too. LifePrint videos can only be up to 15 seconds long and conveniently, you can trim your videos within the app. Once selected, the video will take a while to process as it selects a thumbnail from the video frame and uploads the video to their servers. The app says it'll take only about 15 seconds, however, some of our video print jobs took more than a minute to process. You can't continue using the app while it's processing, so this made printing multiple videos at once more inconvenient than it seemingly should have been. Once completed, it'll print the thumbnail it shows, and you can then hold it up to your phone's camera within the app to play the video back. Surprisingly, the app didn't seem to let you choose the thumbnail frame, which resulted in blurry frames such as this. Again, the video printing gimmick is just a novelty feature that I can't see many people using often. So what about image quality? It's nothing too great, but decent enough for such a small portable device. Fine detail is lost in the image, as the printer's print resolution isn't very high. Furthermore, images often appear washed out, like this image of some crags, which fails to reproduce well the contrast between the sunlight reflecting off the rocks and the shadows on the right, or this image of my dog, which seems darker and somewhat overexposed than the original picture. It's as if the pictures it prints have some kind of Instagram filter over them. While some may actually like how the images turn out, if you're looking for color accuracy and an accurate print, this is far from that. Now, some quick other things. The app has room for improvement. Uh, we did not get to test the LifePrint app in iOS, but on Android, there are definitely glitches in need of fixing. For example, one time the Bluetooth connection between my phone and the printer got disconnected as I had a print queued, and when I paired the printer again, the app started looping print orders until I manually canceled. Now I have four pictures of bananas. Speaking of pictures, LifePrint has their own branded photo paper that they recommend using for full compatibility. The paper has two layers and has a sticky back when you peel away the second layer. The adhesive is pretty strong and it makes putting up pictures a cinch. Finally, a quick word on battery life. The printer runs out of power pretty quickly. If you're taking it outside, make sure to turn it off when not in use, and even then, don't plan on being out too long without some kind of power. Alright, on to scores. In features, we give the live print a 9 out of 10. It does what you'd expect of a photo printer, and then some. In print quality, we give this printer a 6 out of 10. It's only decent, and nothing outstanding. And in usability, we give it a 7 out of 10. The companion app has some bugs, and the device's battery life is rather poor. That totals to 7.3 out of 10. Hey, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and subscribe for more content.